Hi, this is Lauren Lockman. I'm coming to you from the Tanglewood Wellness Center in Costa Rica. And I'm here with my friend and client Naomi, who is on the 15th day of her water fast. <laughs> Naomi, through. Halfway yeah. Through. Last time we checked in with you, it was a big day for you. It was your 65th birthday. Yes. You had some interesting things going on and some interesting observations. Mm -hmm. Tell us what's been happening for you since then. Well, I've been spending a lot more time inside. Uh, I know I do show up for you at 2 o'clock in the morning, but most of my day really is listening to uh, Live 365 on the healing station, which is wonderful, spacey music, which just allows me to go inside and look at whatever comes up. I'm not working at it, I'm just allowing. Okay. Great. And reviewing and feeling into is that event cleared? Is that event cleared? Is that event cleared? And uh, yeah, I've been doing a lot of inner work this week. One of the things I wanted to talk about, Lauren, in this particular video uh, is to let people in on uh, one of the major reasons that I came here, which is. Great. A, a terrible addiction to uh, gluten, which means anything with bread. Uh, most grains. Most grains, actually. Right. Yep. Uh, and I was in this very um, disempowering cycle, which had me feeling very out of control and respecting my self-esteem, where I was craving what was making me sick. Yeah. I was craving bread. I was, I really, it was bad. I would eat fresh, wonderful organic fruit and beautiful salad all day. And at 10 o'clock at night, it was like, what can I get my hands on? Yeah. Oh yeah, the corner store is open. I know this white bread is awful for me. It's <laughs> absolutely poisoning. I'm going to buy it so cheap. Eat four slices in a row before I was sated and go back to bed. Yep. And the next morning, IBS, foggy brain, right. mucus. aches and pains, sure. mucus. Yeah. It was like I knew I was poisoning myself. Yep. I would talk to myself all the way to the store and all, at each bite that I was putting in my mouth. And I was on this cycle and it was, uh, for me, that's my version of health. So, having this chance to interrupt that pattern and be here uh, without those things around me, first of all. It's a bread-free facility. Just, as you know, it, it's like uh, I'm imagining what, what people go through with alcohol, because really bread does become alcohol in the body, right? Yeah, yeah sure, certainly can. And uh, regaining a sense of uh, authority in my life. So I'm really looking forward to uh, eating to live rather than living to eat. Wonderful. And uh, freeing up all that time, energy, and attention and waking up a lot clearer. Yeah. So if any of you have similar cycles going on, whether it's sugar or gluten or whatever it is for you, uh, and you're feeling out of control, I, I can't recommend this kind of intervention of 30 days on a water fast in the tropics. <laughs> you know. Great. Well, let me ask you some questions because, you know, we get a lot of, of inquiries and questions. We post these things and people are always wondering, yeah, but, you know, how can you possibly be okay? You haven't eaten anything now in 15, this is your 15th day. Mm -hmm. You've had only water, mm -hmm. right? So maybe you can talk a little bit about mental clarity and energy and whatever else has been going on for you. What are you noticing? What, we're taking your vital signs. We're mm -hmm. getting you on the scale. And yeah. what, what have you seen happen so far? Well, um, I am a little bit weaker than I am normally. So I just walk slowly. But I can get up and walk around, and uh, my mental clarity is, is pretty darn sharp, and creative ideas are just 
coming so fast. Yeah. Uh, I had a wonderful session yesterday with a woman named Sia who is available to us here and uh, help clarify who I want to serve uh, in the world and how I want to help them. Uh, I had been struggling with this for six years. Mm. So that gives you just a sense of uh, the movement that's possible here. And I've been able to uh, show up in community here in a way that demonstrates for me, because I believe in the sacred mirror, uh, that uh, I am valuable and I can be of service to people. And I feel inspired, I feel positive, uh, I'm not too irritable, right? Not too, not too irritable. Not too no. bad. <laughs> uh, You're doing I, fine. I am a little bit sensitive to sounds, sure. I, I find. Well, and in fact, most people fasting become very sensitive in, in every way, uh -huh. sight, sound, you know, all the senses become super acute. Yes, uh, totally appreciating the vibrance of, of the jungle and the beautiful ornamental plants uh, where we are. Yeah. Thank you, Lauren, for providing this wonderful oh, place. Oh, it's, it's, my, it's my pleasure. I feel privileged to be here with you and with anybody that's truly committed to themselves and their own health and growth. Absolutely. It's wonderful. So, um, let's check in next week. Uh, I know uh, I you're ready. some people out there that are following this process, and I want to reassure you that I feel great. Uh, I send you my love. Terrific. Thanks, Naomi.